Imagine if every glass bottle you throw away could become the key to saving the planet and even earn you some extra cash. Did you know that over 130 million tons of glass are recycled worldwide each year? I recently visited one of the largest recycling plants to uncover the fascinating secrets of how ordinary glass takes an incredible journey from the trash bin to new possibilities, transforming our lives along the way. So, how does a glass item get a new life? The recycling process for bottles begins with collecting used glass. In many cities and countries, a system of separate waste collection is in place, which greatly helps with efficient recycling. Special containers for glass collection are set up in various locations, separated from those for plastic, paper, and organic waste. This prevents glass from mixing with other materials, making the recycling process smoother. In some countries or companies, glass collection points have been established, where people can return used bottles and receive a reward in exchange. This encourages the public to participate in gathering and returning glass bottles for recycling. In many former Soviet Union countries, the collection of glass is often carried out by vulnerable and marginalized groups. However, in European Union countries, it is a routine practice for everyone to return used containers, often receiving something like a discount on their grocery bill in return. Once collected, the glass is sent to recycling plants, where the main processing begins. Once the glass bottles are collected from containers or drop-off points, they are transported to specialized sorting centers for further processing. Waste collection trucks periodically pick up the glass from these containers and deliver it either to sorting centers or directly to recycling plants. This is typically done on a large scale to make transportation more efficient. At the plants or sorting stations, the trucks unload the glass bottles into large containers, where they begin the preparation process for sorting and recycling. Once the bottles arrive at the facility, the next step begins, sorting the glass by type and color. This step is crucial to optimizing the recycling process. Sorting glass by color is extremely important because different glass colors are used for different products and mixing them can reduce the quality of new items. The bottles are sorted automatically using special optical scanners that detect the glass color and sort it into clear, green and brown categories. This is crucial since each type of glass requires separate recycling processes. These sorting machines are equipped with sensors that identify the color of the glass using light sensors. Whole bottles or glass fragments move along a conveyor belt, where machines illuminate them with a lamp or laser. The light reflected from the glass is analyzed by the sensors. The system identifies the glass color based on the signal received and sends this information to a controller. After identifying the color, each glass piece is directed to the appropriate section, either through a stream of air or mechanically removed from the conveyor. The glass is then separated into different streams, which significantly simplifies the next steps of melting and reuse in new products. Once sorted by color, the glass passes through magnets and air streams to remove metal elements like bottle caps, as well as other impurities such as paper labels or plastic residues. Powerful magnets are placed along the conveyor belt to capture all metallic impurities, including steel caps, while electromagnetic separators are used to remove aluminum caps and foil pieces. Pneumatic systems are used to blow away plastic and label remnants from the conveyor, using strong air currents to clear away any materials that are not needed for further recycling. Of course, the glass also undergoes a wet cleaning process in special washing systems, as many of these bottles will be reused to make containers for food products. Just think about it. We discard bottles without a second thought, not realizing how much effort goes into recycling them. Compared to other materials, glass does not wear out or degrade with use, making it an incredibly sustainable material for continuous recycling. After the sorting process, the glass is crushed into what's called cullet, which serves as the raw material for making new glass products. Specialized machines are used to break down glass bottles into small pieces, making further processing easier. These crushers come in various types, but most work using a mill with two parts, one stationary and one movable, where the glass is ground down as the two parts rub against each other. Crushers can include jaw, 
cone, roll, hammer, and gyratory types. The glass is fed into the crushing machine via a hopper or conveyor belt, and inside, mechanical elements reduce it to the desired size. Some crushers go through multiple stages of crushing to ensure uniform particle size. At this point, any remaining impurities that were not removed during sorting can be further filtered out. After crushing, the cullet is sifted to remove pieces that are either too large or too small. This is done to ensure a uniform mixture of cullet that's ready for melting. From this finely crushed cullet, new bottles and jars are most often produced. It can be a bit unsettling to think that something made from waste ends up as new tableware, right? But the powerful processing and extremely high temperatures used in recycling leave no chance for the glass to carry any trace of its former life into the finished product. After being crushed, the cullet undergoes further cleaning to remove any remaining contaminants and is treated before heading to the melting furnaces, starting with magnetic separation. This process eliminates any leftover metals that may have passed through the sorting phase. It's crucial because even small traces of metal can disrupt the glass melting process. Next, specialized technologies are used to remove any organic residues, such as paper labels, adhesives, or other materials, ensuring that the cullet is completely clean before melting begins. The glass fragments are then sent to vibrating sieve machines, where they pass through screens of various sizes to separate the cullet into different grades based on particle size. Different grain sizes are used for different glass products. At this stage, the entire process is automated, with machines equipped with monitoring and control systems. The use of specialized machinery also reduces the risk of injury for workers handling glass bottles, as the entire process takes place in a controlled and safe environment. After being cleaned, cullet is sent to recycling plants, where it is transformed into new molten glass. At the plant, the cullet is loaded into special furnaces, where it melts at temperatures ranging from 2,800 to 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The glass becomes liquid and ready to be shaped into new products. Adding cullet to the melting process reduces energy consumption, as recycled glass melts at a lower temperature than raw materials. Occasionally, new raw materials such as sand, soda ash, and limestone are added to the melting process to maintain the chemical composition and quality of the glass. This helps ensure the strength and clarity of the new products. Once the glass is transformed into a molten state, it is used to produce new glass items. The liquid glass is poured into molds to create various products such as new glass bottles, jars, vases, or other containers. Lower quality recycled glass is often used as filler in concrete, which enhances its aesthetic appeal, increases strength, and improves thermal insulation. In large factories, this process is fully automated and may involve high-precision molds to ensure the desired quality and thickness of the glass. After shaping, the glass products pass through specialized cooling systems, where the temperature is gradually reduced. This step is crucial to prevent cracking and ensure the mechanical strength of the finished products. After forming, the new glass products undergo rigorous quality control to ensure they meet safety and durability standards. Optical and mechanical tests are conducted for this purpose. Specialized systems inspect the products for defects such as air bubbles, cracks, or improper shapes. If a product does not meet the required standards, it is sent back for recycling. Additionally, the items are tested for mechanical strength, especially in the case of glass bottles, which must withstand pressure and other stresses during use. Once all stages are complete, the new glass products are packaged and transported to the market for further use. In large factories, the packaging process is also automated. Glass products are grouped and packed into cardboard boxes or placed on pallets for easy transportation. The finished goods are then shipped to warehouses or directly to customers, such as beverage, food, and other product manufacturers, where they will be used again allowing the glass recycling cycle to start anew. This process is both economically and environmentally beneficial. Glass recycling plays a significant role in reducing greenhouse gas emissions and water pollutants. By using recycled glass material to produce jars and containers, 
we can minimize waste and lower our carbon footprint. Additionally, producing glass from raw materials requires extraction methods that negatively impact the environment, making recycling a much more sustainable choice. Glass recycling offers significant environmental benefits due to its energy efficiency. Using recycled glass, cullet, helps reduce energy consumption in the production of new products, as melting cullet requires lower temperatures than melting raw materials. Researchers in this field have noted that energy use can be reduced by 3%. Recycling also decreases the amount of waste sent to landfills. Since glass does not naturally decompose and can remain in the environment for thousands of years, recycling it is crucial for environmental preservation. Additionally, glass recycling conserves natural resources. By recycling glass, we reduce the need for raw materials like sand, soda ash, and limestone, helping to preserve these resources for future generations.